the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on the videos. Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to another tutorial by Smart View Cards and Statistics. This is a video we are going to solve a question on the normal probability distribution. The, state, the question states that in an industrial process, the diameter of a ball bearing is an important component part. The buyer sets specification on the diameter to be 3 plus or minus 0 0.1 centimeter. The implication is that no part falling outside this specification will be accepted. It is known that in the process, the diameter of a ball bearing has a normal distribution with mean of 3 and standard deviation of 0 0.005 on the average. How many manufactured ball bearings will be scrapped? Okay, let's go for the solution. We are given a range of diameters that's from 3 then plus or minus 0 0.01. These are the range of diameters that will be accepted. And any diameter of a ball bearing outside this, either greater or less than this, will be rejected. And this is why uh, this is what we are asked in the question to find the on average how many manufactured ball bearings will be scrapped. Okay, we are given the mean here from the question, the mean to be 3.0 and the standard deviation as 0 0.005 what are the accepted regions of the ball bearing diameter uh, we are told x1 to be 3.0 plus 0 0.01 centimeter that is 3.01 centimeters and x2 3.0 minus 0 0.01 which is equivalent to 2.99 centimeters. Okay, these are the regions. This are, every diameter between this region, between x1 to x2, is an accept is under the accepted region. Otherwise, it's going to be under the rejected region. So, to determine the percentage bearing, to determine the percentage of the bearings to be rejected. Okay, let's say the probability of x1 less than x less than x2 is the same thing as the probability of z1 less than z less than z2. Let's find the z's where we already know on for a normal probability distribution z is equal to x minus mu that's the mean over the standard deviation okay now let's find the z1 and z2 z1 is equal to x1 minus mean that's what is my x1 3.01 minus 3.0 divided by 0 0.005 which is equivalent to 2 then for the z2 this is equivalent to 3.01 minus 2.99 all over Therefore, the Z2, which is equal to 2.99 minus 3.0 divided by 0 0.05, which is equal to minus 2. Now, this shows that the probability of X1 is greater than, uh, is less than X, is less than X2, which we already know are X1 and X2. That's 3.01 greater than x, uh, less than less than x, less than 2.99. It's the same thing for the z's to say 2 
less than z and less than minus 2 which is our z2 anything within this range is the accepted range and anything outside this is going to be the rejected range so we know that for the rejected range the rejected range will be 1 minus the probability of the accepted range okay 1 minus the probability of the accepted range this is equal to 1 minus probability for the z values that's 2 less than z less than minus z and at the same time let's draw the normal distribution table here let's draw the normal distribution curve here This is the mean. Uh, mean is equal to 3.0, and this is the standard deviation 0 0.005. So let's say this is my x1 3.01, and this is my x2 3, uh, 2.99. 2.99 so so this here this is greater than x1 and here anything less than x2 this and this are rejected regions rejected regions here also rejected while Within this area on the curve, this here, it is the accepted region. We know that this x1 and x2, 2.99 and 3.01 are x values, x values, and the equivalent value in the z part, this are minus 2 and 2, which we have found above, these are the z values. And for the rejected range we are trying to find here as we stated before drawing the curve it's 1 minus p into 2 less than z and less than minus 2 we know that it's the same thing drawn here to say that the probability of z less than minus 2 the pro plus the probability of z greater than 2 that is all this range plus all this range and now we are to find the probability of z less than minus 2 and z greater than 2 from the table. So, from normal distribution table, the probability of z less than minus 2, we know is what? The probability of area to the left of the z-score. This is what? Area to the left of the z-score mind you about this left I've said it's important and I will show you where it's important so now we are going to go to our z-table this is our z-table standard normal distribution table table of values representing area to the left of the z-score here is it left so this is minus 2 and since it's minus 2.000 the decimal after uh, the point the numbers after the decimal point are all zero that we are going to look for it under 0 0.00 and this is the value where it's 0 0.02275 approximately it's going to be 0 0.0228 this is 0 0.0228 this is from z table the same time probability of z greater than 2 but this is what area to the right here of the z table 
or Z score or Z curve not tell them. So to the right of the Z curve or Z score. Here to the right while while the why there is why is there a difference in determining that of the left and that of the right? Here is to the right. There is a difference in checking the values from the table of the right of the z score and the left of the z score. As you can see, when finding the area to the left of the z score, we just directly check the number from the the value from the table. Instead, well, for that of the right of the z-score, we have to subtract the value from the table from 1. Here is the one table, and the same thing, this table is standard normal distribution table representing the area to the left of the z-score. While here for 2, we are looking for that of the right score. Then we are just to find the value and subtract that value from 1. Here is it. 2.0 under 0, 0, and this is the value 0 0.97725. So since it's for the right, you will say 1 minus 0 0.97725. 1 minus 0 0.97725 is 0 0.02275. Here from my calculator, approximating it is 0 0.0228, which is also found from Z table. So for the rejected range, we are told it's this plus this, which you have found from the table, to be 0 0.0228 plus 0 0.0228, which is the same thing to say 0 0.0456 after the summation. This 0 0.0456, the percentage value is the same thing as 4.56 percent and we are done this means that 4.56 percent of the manufactured ball bearings will be scrapped because they are rejected they are not under the acceptable origin we know that the question state that we should find on the average how many manufactured ball bearings will be scrapped and this is the answer 4.56 percent of the manufactured ball bearings you don't know the number of ball bearings manufactured we could have said this so so amount will be scrapped directly but whatever the number of the bell bearings manufactured are 4.56 percent of the manufactured bell bearings will be scrapped according to the data received from this question i hope you understand and enjoy this video for any misunderstanding or further questions we are waiting for you in the comment section see you in another video